The Sparks Police have seen a tremendous increase in the number of reported phone scams. We'll talk with one of our police assistants about the many ways you can spot a scam. And finally, what to do if you receive one of these phone that calls. That is the IRS scam, where people are getting phone calls or getting voicemails left for them from a, an individual claiming to be with the IRS. They're going to be very threatening. They're going to threaten that they're going to send marshals to your house to arrest you. They're going to try to intimidate you to try to get you to go to the bank and transfer funds or get a money order or whatever mechanism that they're going to try to get your, your hard-earned money out of you. Now, I mean, if you've already done your taxes, you already know if you're going to get a little bit of money back, congratulations, or if you owe a little bit and you need to work out your budget so you can get that taken care of. One of the really big red flags is if they ask for any kind of gift card like an Amazon card or an iTunes card, any kind of money gram or transfer. Uh, if, they're, if they're requesting that as their form for payment, that's a huge indicator that this has absolutely nothing to do with the IRS. If you start getting a phone call from a phone number that you don't recognize, just let it go to voicemail. And if it's one of these scam type calls, just delete it, don't call back because once you make contact with them, they will hound you and try to bully you into doing what they want. So if you or someone you know has fallen prey to a scam and is a victim of fraud, we understand. Contact your local police department to file a report. To report phone scams or to report online scams, visit ic3.gov or ftc.gov.